Hello, hello. Welcome back. I'm Mr. Monty, geometry teacher at Lewis and Clark High School. This is lesson five of our 2020 series in getting ready for the geometry EOC at the end of May. All this vocabulary growing. One of the things that we studied in the logic section in reasoning were if-then statements. Only a couple of things out here should be fairly easy. Most of you got this really quick. Hypothesis and conclusion. In an if-then statement, the hypothesis is the if. If it is raining, then it is cloudy. You only have three or four of these to practice tonight, and it shouldn't take you very long. Like I said, most of you are really good at the whole idea. If you're given a hypothesis and a conclusion, go ahead and write the statement. If it is raining, then it is cloudy. Make sure you do all these tonight. Remember, hypothesis and conclusion, you can go ahead and write those words down. But the next two lessons after that was when it got harder in using those. Had to write the converse, is it true? The inverse, is it true? And the contrapositive, is it true? That's what we have to build ourselves up to. So I wanted to introduce it today, do the two or three practice problems, come back tomorrow for lesson number six, and we're going to have to use our if A, then B. If B, then A, the converse. Remember the next one? If not A, then not B. What was the last one? If not B, then not A. Are, are those all true or false? So I'm actually not going to change this. We're just going to tweak it a little to build into the tomorrow's lesson. So go practice the hypothesis and conclusion tonight, and then tomorrow we'll actually manipulate them, see if they're true or false, and find counterexamples. Okay? See you then.